I am what they call a political refugee, fighting for the right to chase my dream of winning an Olympic gold medal. My name is Rahili Asimani, and this is my story. I first arrived in Belgium in December 2012, where I went to live with my aunt. She gave me a roof and was always very positive with me. Family is very important, and not a day goes by without talking with my mom, my dad, and my sister. They give me strength and motivate me every day to keep moving forward towards my Olympic dreams. But to make my dreams come true, I had to start training again. So I found this park next to my aunt's house, where I used to go train every day for a while. But I knew that if I wanted to meet my expectations, I will soon need a better training environment. So I decided to contact the Belgium national team. She came to my training place. She was visiting her aunt and she asked if she could uh, train with us. She, she had many problems with her papers. She, she didn't have a job. She, so it was, a, it was a challenge. When she was with us, she was actually like a training partner. And in return, we support her to go to some competitions. There was a competition in, uh, in the Netherlands and we asked her if you can, you can go with us and you will fight with our team for the Dutch Open. And winning the first match, second match, third match, fourth match and at the end she arrived in final. She won the competition. Right, very good, she won the competition. And so she, she asked uh, the protection of Belgium as a refugee. And one year later, one year later, finally she's allowed to stay in Belgium. Then she was allowed to go outside Belgium in the Schengen uh, area and to make some, some competition. And she, she go to competition and, and then after she win four World Cup event in a row. She won Austria and then Poland and then Croatia and seven. She, 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 she just beat everybody. She never had been so so good, but she's not allowed to go to, to ground, to Grand Prix final. She couldn't do World Championship, she couldn't do European Championship, although she was ready, real ready to do that, because she beat all the people who make medals there. She's then back, Thomas back, from IOC, uh, make a declaration about refugee. He thinks that refugee should get allowed to take part to the selection for the Olympics. They have no country, no flag, nothing, but they, they want to build a refugee team for the Olympic Games. Dr. Shu, president of the World Taekwondo Federation, allowed refugee to continental selection. This is it. After 17 years of hard work and dedication to my sport, and three years as a political refugee, I finally get my chance. Let's go. but it wasn't going to be easy. My first fight was a heartbreaker. I have to fight against my friend Indra and against the country that welcomed me. No laughing and smiling after this victory. And now I have to do it for Indra too. The next fight is the semi-final. It is the qualifying round. If I win, I make it to Rio. It all comes down to this fight. Remember the journey. Remember the people. Remember everything that you're fighting for.
It's the last round. Let's go. Five seconds left. Final. The Olympic Games. My dream. Words cannot describe what I am feeling right now. I am so thankful to all the people who have helped me. To my family, to my teammates, to my coaches, to everyone. I ended up winning the final and qualifying for Rio. But it was never about winning or losing. It was about having a chance to perform and compete. My message is a message of hope to any refugee that no matter what your situation is in life, you have to believe in your dreams and you have to be willing to do whatever it takes to give you a chance to make them come true. Congratulations, Lily, and really, you are the hope and dream of our refugee camps, young children who is learning Taekwondo. I have a really long story, <laughs> but uh, okay. everything is now good and I want to try more hard for Rio. Yeah. That is, that... That's wonderful. Yeah, thank you, thank it's you. It's wonderful to hear your voice. Thank you, thank you very much. My journey isn't over and I am going to give my best for Rio. very glad that I let uh, her in our program. I see Rahele's evolution and I'm very happy she's going to the positive. She grows so much and I'm happy to be, to, to be in that process. To know her, she's an exceptional athlete towards mental. She's a very strong lady and I'm, uh, I'm glad that I know her and I can work with her. I learned that, uh, yeah, that maybe I don't learn, I just uh, again learned that same message that positivity is something that's very important in the life of uh, someone from high level sports.